Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transform review. Yeah. Today's Throwback Thursday. Yay. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Redgar. Because why not? He don't get enough love. And uh, KFC just re you know released their uh, Junkions. I think uh, two are out right now. Some of the online stores have them and everything, so that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to order one or two of them, you know, just in case. But why not? Let's do Retgar because, you know, he's awesome. So guess what? Here's a little tidbit about Retgar. Take it away. So Retgar is a product of his own environment. Unfortunately, this environment is the planet of Junkion, a distant world of trash which is bombarded by the old Earth television broadcast. Not only is Retgar's mismatched body collected from the debris around him, but his mind is equally mismatched hodgepodge of earth, earthling pop culture. These human cheesy slogans and cell pitches from decades past from the patchwork of Retgar's scatterbrained personality. It is with this demeanor that Retgar leads the Junkions, a tribe or possibly a race of junk robot transformers who inhabited this world. Despite the pop culture of his race being from strangers light years away, Retgar can be strongly xenophobic towards intruders. Thankfully, this attitude is easily broken and once he befriends you, he will be a selfless ally. He oversees his people's daily activities of sorting through their planet's collection of scrap. Though what base, bases they use to sort the material is yet to be identified. Something of a romantic, Retgar has known to be woo several uh, Junkion ladies in different universes, including Nancy and Rumaja. In battle, Retgar is easy to knock down, but near impossible to keep down. Thanks to the unique physiology of Junkions, he tends to lose pieces easily when he takes damage, but he can repair that damage with lightning speed, and it's possible that even if he's reduced to a pile of parts, it's only a short time before he's back on his feet again, swinging his mighty axe. This rapid healing ability reaches almost instantaneous speed on his home planet of junk, or anywhere he can get his hands on scrap metal. Retgar wields, in addition to his energy axe, a decelerator laser that can bring the cerebral activity of his victims to a lumbering halt. Steadfast and dependable, powerful and unexpectedly wise, Retgar reveals himself to be much more than the sum of his parts. And this is a quote from Transformers Movies. Yes, friends, act now. Destroy Unicron. Kill the Grand Poopa. Eliminate even the toughest stains. That's still funny. All right, there's a little tidbit about Retgar. All right, hope you like that little tidbit about Retgar. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome stuff. So let's get to the review. Yeah. All right, here is Retgar in his alt mode. His little motorcycle. And it rooms. Vroom, vroom, vroom all the way. Nice and done. Stickers are decent, you know, not too bad. Some of them could use a little touch up. I make it, you know, you do something like that. Uh, got some, this is die cast right here. Got some little rubbing on the sides and everything. It's kind of peeling off the red and everything. Uh, the rubber, rubber tires, these are rubber and everything. So they look pretty good. Not cracked or anything like that. They're really looking good. The chrome on the motor looks pretty good, decent. Not too bad. Everything. So there he is, the motorcycle. Not much to them. Got a little scratching of the glass right there, or plastic right there for that. But yeah, see, so he's got a little of the rubbing right here, and stickers. Not the greatest back here. Not too terrible either. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. You got the rub sign. I don't know if that works anymore. Put some heat on it. Might come up with the Autobot symbol. But not too bad for alt mode. Pretty cool. Lean over like that. His legs kicks out like that, like a kickstand. So pretty cool. And you got some detail work right here. A little bit, not much. You got something like that. So, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I'll put some new stickers on him like that. It'd be pretty good. Nice, uh, chrome's pretty good right there. So, there you go. That is the alt mode for Retgar and his, uh, motorcycle. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. Before we move on to transformation, I forgot to mention, you can take his axe if you want to. You can wield it right here. Like in the movie, you can drive a line like and cut some cars up or something, cut some tires up and everything. You have that option. So let's transform him real quickly. Okay, so he does parse form. I know, it's weird. Transforming, pants parse forming, smart smarming. Mm -hmm. Take that off right there. All right, so what you want to do, you want to untap these right here, the legs right there. Move this down. You're going to untap it right there, the wheel 
So you'll have enough clearance when you bring it down to maybe move it down like that and around. All right, class the legs right there. There you go, move the legs in like that. And that's good like that right there. Let me move the, let me move the camera up a little bit. All right, so what you wanna do, move this down like that, move the arms out of the way, and then move that in there, collapse that like that. And then after you bring that down, you wanna pop his head down, move it down like that. And there you go. I'm going to bend the elbows a little bit. So that is how you transform G1 Retgar. Alright, before moving on to this guy, let's take a look at his weapons real quickly. So he does come with an axe. Nicely cool. <laughs> Nicely cool. Nicely done. A little sculpt work there, but not much. And it will fit in his hand just fine. He does come with a like I said, the spare tire or his front tire, you know, use it as a shield. Like I said, the rubber is pretty good. Not cracking or anything like that. That's really good for being such an old toy. And he does come with a gun. Unfortunately, I put the gun up because it's just I didn't have anywhere to, you know, store it. So if you look right here, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Nice, you know, just standard, you know, gray plastic. So there you go. So let's take a look at him real quick. Take his weapons off. Look at sculpts. All right. So there he is, the head sculpt. Nicely done. Show that little goatee he has, which is a badass goatee. He's got nicely done orange eyes right there. Pretty cool. Uh, not much head movement. You can look up if you want to consider that as transformation, but, you know, it is there. Then you got this right here. This is die cast. Like I said, it's kind of chipping at some areas. He's got the nipples. Boing. And you got the arms. And this is nice. This is a die cast as well. It's got nice chrome to it. Mine's chrome's pretty good. I don't see any wearing or tearing anything like that. So you can go up to there with the arms all the way around. You got a 90 degree knee bend or elbow bend. And you got a twist of the hands as well. Moving down. Pretty nicely done with the legs. You can go up. Nice little ratchet going on. And you can do this also with it because of transformation. Nothing with the feet. And then you got this weird kind of thing going on like that just because of transformation. And there's the side profile of him. Man, those are some big old nipples. And that's nice. Uh, like I said, the rubber is pretty good. Not cracking or anything like that. And there's the back. Got the handlebars. Got little details in there I, told, I showed y'all. You got the little side pouches right here. They move up and down a little bit. And there's his, there's his booty and the back of his legs. You got a tailpipe right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There you go. That is the sculpt work and articulation of G1 Retgar. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeak for scale. Duh. All right, while I was editing the uh, video and everything for all this stuff and review, I forgot to show y'all, you can put the uh, spare tire or the front wheel, whatever, I keep saying spare tire, but it's a front wheel, and have it like that. So it'd be pretty cool. I forgot to mention that during the, uh, during the um, review and everything. Sorry about that. But yeah, you can put it on the side, it you know, tabs into it hold right there you can have it like that and then he can hold his gun like i said i don't have the gun out right now but he can hold his gun as well so that's pretty cool just wanted to show you how you can do that guess what folks it's picture time take it away All right, hope you like those pictures. It's time to get on the floor, do some floor time. Won't you join me, be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. Well, do I think you need a G1 Redgar in your collection? What do I always say? Heck yeah, you do. Man, you need all the G1 stuff, man. Come on now. What do you think about that? Heck yeah. G1 forever. I like Beast Wars though, but I still like G1. I'm ready to do Skylinks next week for uh, Throwback Thursday. So yeah, I think you should actually have a uh, Red Guard, I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, uh, KFC, you know, released uh, the Junkions. Uh, their uh, Red Guard is really good. Um, if you ever get around to the third party, you know, 
stuff uh, it's pretty good so I definitely would recommend getting that yeah Redguard don't get a lot of love you know I do like the classic version or I think it was the hunt, hunt for Decepticon uh, one that was really good and they did some recolors of that one um, and I think it's really good I think it'd be pretty cool if they did a you know for Earthrise or something like that or the next if they gave us another Redgar an updated version I think it'd be pretty cool but yeah definitely I like G1 you know the Redgar is pretty cool you know it's a block just like the rest of them you know but you know you have to use your imagination and that's pretty cool so I definitely would recommend this guy he's also plus he's got a bad battle axe and he's got a nice nice goatee I mean come on now the best goatee in Transformers come on now all right well I hope you liked my review over the G1 Redgar uh, for Throwback Thursday uh, go down and hit me with some uh, like shares prayers and care bears go down and hit that uh, sub button for me if you don't mind it helps out the channel and uh, hit me with some comments tell me what you thought of the review and what you think of Redgar as a character and everything and I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Throwback Thursday. As always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro. And good night, folks. Me Talk TV. Go get Unicron. Unicron.